Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GM, the ECMWF and we'll finish up having a look at the GFS ensembles and have a look at the UK Met Office run as well. Now I can see we are in a pretty chilly northerly flow and that's going to continue over the next few days and there's still there's a decent chance we could see some quite harsh frosts over the next couple of days for many areas really, even down into southern parts of England which um, this may be quite an unusual early frost um, as we normally see it towards the end of November or even similar to last year, some areas didn't see it until December. Beyond that, we do have westerly winds moving back in for the end of this week, by the weekend into the start of next week. But then the uncertainty builds at around day 10 and beyond. We've been having a look at that the last few videos. It does look like there's the potential for things to be turning colder or even much colder. But at the same time, there are many ensembles going much milder as well. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So we do run through the latest GFS, you can see at the moment the cold and the air mass moves through. You can see high pressure will slowly topple in over the next few days, still overnight frost as we do have a colder air mass, but the showers we've been seeing in a few spots, especially along the coast, will die away. Beyond that... We do see westerly winds. We see a brief northerly come in for Sunday, but again, it's very, very brief before westerly winds take back in. And you see the low pressure up towards Iceland, just bringing in westerly winds, really. And towards day 10, we are seeing the signs of some high pressure. And you can see the potential for a sort of northwest-southeast alignment of the jet stream right towards the end of the run with some northern blocking. And it would turn a little bit chillier, but nothing truly exceptional on this GFS run. There is, if we do run it back to just beyond day 10, quite a bit of amplification going on within the jet stream. High pressure trying to push up towards northern Canada, more high pressure up towards eastern Europe, up into Scandinavia, but none of them really take hold and give us a big blocking pattern. So it does look like at this stage on this current GFS, those high pressure blocks will fail to dominate the weather. Maybe they'll dominate for a couple days before westerly winds take back in. And that's really not a long enough time, really, um, for any significant cold to come to the UK. So a period of cold is potentially, uh, potentially on this latest GFS for the middle of November, but nothing too sustained. So we do have a look at the GM, see how that's compared to up to day 10. You can see again, high pressure toppling over the next few days. Beyond that again, brief northerly wind. And beyond that, we go pretty chilly. We see more amplification of the jet stream and a bigger ridge of high pressure. And we see a northerly blast. Now, it's quite a brief northerly blast. And we do see the jet stream flatten it with um, the high pressure toppling. So it's a classic topless scenario where we have a day or two of cold northerly winds. And the winds are not going to be that cold because the air is not that cold to our north. But very interesting seeing that come off as soon as sort of 180 hours towards the middle of next week so just over a week's time so yeah very interesting that not coming off on the gfs so yeah interesting interesting things coming out from this gm run and we'll have to keep an eye on that because of course small amplification like this can make drastic difference the differences in what we can could be seeing throughout the middle of november if we have a look at the east see how that does compare you can see at the moment northerly winds pretty chilly and then we do see some application of the jet stream, but nothing similar to the GM really. And towards day 10, you can see a lot of high pressure around. Things will be coming quite dry, really, for the UK. And a reasonably warm air mass, really. And this will be all right on the warmer end of the ensembles. And this will be perfect for anyone who misses summery sort of weather, um, as this will be quite fine and dry. And we could be seeing temperatures getting to the mid to high teens with this warm air mass, especially across England and Wales. So you can see the amount of uncertainty really with, in play here, um, with all the operation main operational models not really aligning out from even five days. You can see that air mass is really quite warm. Um, a good sort of 6, 8 or even 10 degrees above average in a few spots. So really quite warm and we'll have to see if that does come up. I doubt it and I, doubt, and I do definitely think it's an outlier in the ensembles. But very interesting seeing that. If we have a look at the GFS ensembles, you can see really these operation runs really well reflect. So you can see there is a massive amount of uncertainty even in sort of five, six days time, things do drastically change. You can see at the moment quite a cold air mass that's going to peak over the next day or two. Then it's going to return to milder temperatures. Then, then we're going to see a bit of flip-flopping up and down. It's sort of a zone or sine wave where we go warmer, colder, warmer, colder. But beyond that, as we head towards the 10th, 11th of November, so in around a week's time, we do have a lot of uncertainty. Some are going quite cold, probably similar to what the GM was going for. Others, like the GFS operational run, which is the thicker green line here, is going much, much 
milder. And there are some, some of them is going flat, but similarly there are some going much colder as well. And you can see it's slightly above average around 13th of November, and then slightly below average from the 17th to 18th of 19th of November. So we can't really take too much out of that. There is a relatively decent amount of precipitation, not masses, but not nothing, and nothing, um, not sort of negligible. So we have to say at this stage, it really is up for grabs. It all depends on the application of the jet stream. Because, of course, where these pockets of blocking that's trying to ridge northwards set up, if it sets up at the top of the UK, we can go and be going quite dry and maybe even warm like the ECMWF. If it sets up further to our west, we could be going much colder with northerly winds similar to the GM run. Or if it never really gets far further northwards, and we just they say west or west, northwesterly winds, it'll be chilly, not cold, and very unsettled, similar to the GFS. So we'll have to keep an eye really what happens. If we do have a look at Glasgow, you can see again a lot of up and down, a lot of uncertainties. Um decently up and down over the next sort of week or so and beyond that a lot of precipitation around and temperatures do look all over the place the majority are going around miles around 11th to 12th of november but there still are some going quite cold in the longer term some going really quite cold and you can see the potential um towards the end of the run of some really really quite chilly runs but on the contrary there are some going very very mild for the middle of november and again it's all up for grabs um, all depends on what's happening with the amplification in the jet stream now if we do have a look at the uk muscle office run to finish this video you can see at the moment we do have a few showers around generally across the eastern um, and western coasts and northern coasts as well anyway really facing the northerly wind you can see a bit of a temperature dam angle has formed over the course of today and that's basically where we see converging winds um over the course temperature down into the southwest of england as well and we do see um, some heavy showers potentially developing there. And, of course, in the east, there could be some heavier showers moving in as well at times. But generally, tomorrow looks quite dry for most people. Beyond that, it does look like more cloud and showers are going to be moving from the northwest as we do have... Uh, a warmer front pushing in, but it's under high pressure initially towards Friday, so there's not going to be too much showers out there, but it could be sort of drizzly, patchy rain. And then as we're into the weekend, a big deluge does move through with westerly winds. You can see a lot more showers around, and then by Monday, it does look like more low pressure, more heavy rain will be spreading in for um for next uh, for for monday afternoon into the evening now if we have a look at max temperatures you can see at the moment pretty chilly only eight or nine degrees out there for many overnight tonight will drop pretty cold indeed to around four or five degrees and if not colder in a few spots especially rural areas as well and these operation of this all you can mess run has definitely been overdoing the temperatures a little bit um, as it does take into account some certain microclimates so it has been a little bit cold in that in a few spots beyond that Thursday afternoon, still quite chilly, 8, 9 degrees, maybe 10 degrees in a few spots, but really struggling by freezing in a few spots in Scotland. Overnight to Friday could be a really quite a cold night across England, 0 degrees for many areas in the Midlands and to the south. Maybe the towards the coast where we've got a bit of a sea breeze, maybe keeping above freezing. And of course in the north we start to have a milder air mass move in, it will be a little bit milder. Beyond that, all areas will generally turn a little bit milder, still quite cold in the day, only 9, 10 degrees. But at night, across Friday uh, into Saturday, you can see temperatures generally around 7, 8, 9 degrees, so a good few degrees up. Saturday afternoon, still quite chilly, 11 or 12. Overnight Sunday, still cold, nothing majorly cold. And Sunday, Monday, still looking generally um, sort of around 11, 12 degrees. So around average, really, um, a couple degrees or a good 2, 3, 4 degrees above average, uh, above what we've had over the last few days and what we'll have over the next day or so. So anyway, look very interesting over the next few weeks. Make sure you stay tuned to um, what we're going to be seeing um, with the models. Do make sure you do like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you again for another video soon.